Hey, it's French with CJ here, and I am bringing you guys a team builder for week three of the UBC. We are going up against our good buddy Greg. It's Gregulator, coach of the Los Angeles Clefable. And we did face him in season four of UBC and kind of got bodied. <laughs> um, we ended up losing 6 0, and I had a chance to really take the momentum in that match early on. There was an exchange between my Life Orb Nido King and his Assault Vest Hang Growth. I expected him to switch out, and so I clicked Substitute, but he stayed in because he had a reasonable chance of taking the Sludge Wave uh, from full health. I was modest rather than timid, so I actually had a, like a slightly better chance to kill than he had to live, but uh, in any case, it really robbed me of any momentum, and I was on the back foot the whole game, and uh, like I said, ended up getting bodied. So I really want to have a better showing versus Greg this time around than I did last time. And uh, he's certainly not going to make that easy for me because, of course, he is a uh, pretty fantastic battler. He did make it to the championship game of UBC. He made it to championship of UPA recently. He won the championship for MPL. So he's just having a lot of success. And uh, on top of that, the team that he's drafted is pretty threatening. So let's take a look at it. He does have Zygarde, Jirachi, Tapu Bulu, Porygon 2, Mantine, Gengar, Halucha, Raikou, Pangoro, Alolan, Graveler, and the god himself, Mega Camerupt. <laughs> he's been he's been saying all week that he's uh, going to be bringing Mega Camel. Um, he does have a pretty good offensive matchup versus me, but uh, I don't even think that it's that likely that he brings an offensive set. I think that a defensive set is actually a pretty plausible, uh, like a rest talk set with uh, some good physical defense investment, because it's a decent check for both uh, Weavile and Victini. So I'm not going to be too shocked if he does bring it. Um, and he could bring it offensive for sure, because I only sort of switch in is that uh, Gudra. But Gudra doesn't even switch in that great on it, especially not the set that I've brought. Um, other threats versus my team, Zygarde is pretty huge. Uh, Zygarde has just gotten so good between Gen 6 and Gen 7 because of 1,000 arrows. Um, if he wants to like get up one DD, he can definitely put some work in versus my team. Um, I could potentially like revenge it with Ice Shard on Weavile, but uh, I'm 100% expecting a Yachi Berry Zygarde. He just doesn't have Weavile answers, so like he's gonna have to rely on berries, uh, mainly the Culber Berry and Yachi Berry to try and deal with my Weavile. And Zygarde's like the perfect candidate for that. So I want to try and burn that uh, that Yachi Berry if I can. Get him to like 50%, then Ice Shard should be able to handle him. Assuming he's not like a coil set. Um, if he's coil, then we're a little bit in trouble. Um, and then Bulu, uh, you know, Bulu's kind of the other big threat for me. Uh, Bulu is just so hard to, to handle offensively. There's so few good Bulu counters in the game. Like even Serena, if I'm packing like a pretty physically defensive set, takes like at least 50 from Banded Woodhammer. And so the combination of Bulu and Camerupt, you know, being able to apply offensive pressure has really... Uh, pointed me towards uh, like a sort of hyper offensive build, and I did actually have spikes with Whirlipede on this uh, on this team at one point. But Whirlipede's just uh, too much of a liability versus Zygarde, so I've dropped that and uh, added a Cobalion on back instead. Um, and uh, why don't I just go ahead and show you guys the team instead of uh, rambling on about it because we were almost four minutes into this recording anyway. So I do have a leftovers. Uh, Lando T, um, physically defensive with a mostly with a, or an entirely special move set, uh, Earth Power Sludge Wave HP Ice. Uh, this is the set because he does have that grassy terrain, and I don't want him to be weakening my my earthquakes. So Earth Power is is the the move of choice here. It also allows me to run both Sludge Wave and HP Ice. Sludge Wave for the Bulu, which we do at speed with our uh, EVs here, and then HP Ice obviously for Zygarde and uh, also for Halucha. There's a somewhat reasonable chance that he runs Yachiberry Halucha. And um, he could also, what he's been doing lately, um, is he's been running the Grassy Seed, which gives him a defense boost, and uh, tricks, or uh, it procs his own burden. Um, so it gives him a defense boost, so HP Ice is also pretty nice for that. We don't have to try and go for like Stone Edge or anything to try and get a little neutral damage on him. Um, risking both the miss chance and uh, also he's going to be boosted on that. So I want to go for HP Ice um, and yeah, take that thing down on the special side. Or if he's running Yachi Berry, pop the Yachi so I can revenge him with Ice Shard. 
Um, I also have Protect on here just to give me the best chance possible to live a uh, 2,000 arrows from a Zygarde. If he gets up to plus 2 somehow, um, and then I switch in and bring him to minus 1, um, he actually still has a uh, somewhat reasonable chance to to uh, two-shot me. So I want to go for Protect and give myself the best chance of living that. And that's why I've gone with full defense investment and uh, less HP investment rather than the other way around like like you would normally see. Just because I want to give myself the best odds versus that Zygarde. It makes like a, it's uh, like 3% less damage uh, if you run it this way rather than the other. So that's quite nice. Uh, next up we have a Life Orb Weavile. Swords Dance, Lexical Crash, Ice Shard, and Knock Off. This thing is a, a menace versus his team. Uh, and like I said, I'm expecting him to run um, multiples of Yachi and Culper Berries to try and deal with my Weavile, or bring a Rest Talk Camera up. Uh, Icicle Crash, Ice Shard, Knock Off is really the only coverage I need. If I can somehow get up a Swords Dance, like if I know that Rachi is Scarf and he is locked into Heart Stamp or something like that, uh, I can take advantage of that in Swords Dance, although I guess he's gonna, you know, be making me switch out the next time he comes in because he will be faster than me and can go for Iron Head. But you guys get my point. Like, if there is an opportunity to set up, I, I will try to. But mostly it's just there as a filler slot. And, um, yeah, I just want this thing to, to revenge kill almost all of his mons. Like, the only thing that... He has nothing on his team that's naturally faster than it. Uh, he does have Halucha, which can get to a higher speed uh, if the Unburden Boost procs. Um, but otherwise, Weavile is just really fantastic versus his team. Um, next, we do have a Scarf Victini. You turn Volt, uh, Fee Create, Bolt Strike, and Glaciate. Uh, this is my other uh, Revenge Killer. It's also uh, a decent way of handling a plus one Zygarde, because I can outspeed it, go for Glaciate, and um, either pop its Yachi Berry for the Weavile, or if it's not Yachi Berry, I can get off a good chunk of damage. The main thing is that it will reduce its speed. Um, and that is going to allow me to go into things like Weavile in Taken On or even uh, the Cobalion that I have next. So that's the big thing that I want there. V creates a nice versus his team except for stuff like Mantine and uh, that Zygarde. And uh, for the Mantine, I do have Bolt Strike. Uh, as I've mentioned now, I think the, the best check that he has to Victini is a defensive camera up. So I have to be pretty careful to like about using this thing to, to revenge kill until that camera up is is removed because uh, if I get a kill with V create for example then he goes into camera up I, I can't really go for V create versus camera up I guess I could it depends on the situation but uh, most of the time I'm, I imagine I would switch out and uh, I'm kind of forced to lose a mon maybe Gudra or Blastoise can take one and then threaten it out but uh, most likely he's going to be getting a kill. So that's the plan with Victini. Uh, just, yeah, outspeed. Most of his team outspeeds Calmine Raikou, uh, outspeeds a, uh, a non unburdened Halucha, etc. Also, its typing is just really nice for switching into Jirachi. That's another thing that's worth mentioning. Um, it can, you know, take Iron Head and Heart Stamp or Zen Head, but whatever he chooses to run. Um, he needs, like, uh, I guess Shadow Ball or something like that to hit me super effectively. Um, that's kind of his best coverage move. He could be packing T-Wave, which would be pretty annoying, uh, but we'll see. Uh, uh, Scarf Rachi is a pretty nice bring because it can uh, deal with Weavile a little bit better. So we'll see what he ends up going with on that front. Uh, next, we do have a Sugarberry Cobalion. Uh, another special set, Stealth Rock, Focus Blast, Flash Cannon, and HP Ice. Uh, I have Sugarberry just as a sort of last-ditch effort versus the uh, Zygarde. Because again, that thing is a threat. I don't want it to uh, to sweep my team because <laughs> that's kind of what Zygarde does now. Um, and we went with a fully special set just to power up our HP Ices as much as possible. And then this also allows us to run Flash Cannon to hit the Bulu, which is going to do a little bit more damage than Iron Head because Bulu does have pretty good physical defense. So whereas an Iron Head will be doing like 55 to 65, Flash Cannon does like almost 70 to almost 80. Uh, if he's not invested, so that's quite nice. Of course, the only pitfall with this is that we are forced to run Focus Blast. Um, and I, I really want Focus Blast because I want to hit the P2. P2 is such a such a nuisance. I really, really hate P2. Uh, it just always finds a way to, to ruin me. Uh, because, like, 
very frequently cannot find a way to kill it. <laughs> so um, we might have to hit two Focus Blasts, which would be an issue, but uh, you know that's kind of just what we have to do in this situation. I'd, I'd rather not run a uh, fully attack invested set if I can help it, um, because I want to hit the other stuff on this team harder. That's the real reason. So then next we have a Timid Mega Blastoise with Hydro Pump, Aura Sphere, Ice Beam, and Toxic. So this is actually pretty nice versus his team because his team is pretty bulky. He doesn't have a ton that's like really fast. Uh, like he has Rachi, Halucha, Raikou, Zygarde. And I think those are the only Pokemon that are like really a lot faster. And he only has two water resists. He's got the Mantine and then his other one is Bulu. Um, Bulu doesn't uh, deal with this Blastoise unless it's Scarf because I do actually outspeed it uh, with my speed investment. So if he wants to bring it in on a potential Hydro Pump, great. We can kill it with a Hydro Pump most, or a, a Ice Beam afterwards most likely. Again, assuming that he's not Scarf. And then I have a Toxic on this because I want this for the Mantine and then I also want that for P2. Uh, Aura Sphere uh, only does like 40% or so if he's sort of the standard mixed P2. Um, so that's not enough to to kill. It could two it KO depending upon prior damage or having rocks up or anything like that. Uh, but uh, that toxic is gonna be really important to me. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to use Timid Blastoise um, because I think people don't expect this. Um, people expect you know, modest sets that are bulky, but not necessarily fast sets. And you know, and this thing's got enough bulk anyway to to uh, to take a hit if needed. Like it can take a, uh, it could probably even take a plus two high jump kick from Halucha, although admittedly I haven't calc that. So if I need this to take a hit, I'll do it, and uh, you know we'll we'll uh, go from there. The next uh, the next set, the uh, the final set is my Godzilla. This is a fun one. This is a Choice Banded Gudra, Superpower, Earthquake, Thunder Punch, and Aqua Tail. So um, I don't want him to. Uh, have like a Calm Mind Raikou that can uh, pretty much take advantage of me, or I don't want um, what are some other special Pokemon like Mantine being able to switch in very easily on me and uh, and take me on. I also don't want P2 to be able to switch in very easily to me, um, and so I think a Choice Band set actually does all of those things, um, and it also like it can one shot Camer up with Aqua Tail uh, pretty much all the time, even if he's Max Fizz Def. Um, Superpower is really nice for P2. Earthquake's nice for Raikou. Thunder Punch is nice for uh, the Mantine. So I do have to play carefully because if I go for a move like Thunder Punch, then Zygarde can switch in and take advantage of that. Um, I might just have to go hard into Landorus in that case. Um, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, I really like this. And um, we do outspeed max speed Pangoro um, if he's running a non. Uh, non-scarf set um, and Gudra can also be like an emergency switch in for Bulu because I do have the sap zipper ability so um, like it's not my default switch in but again it's there if I need it in a pinch I guess if I need to I'm gonna try and go into my Cobalion first but I would like to keep Cobalion healthy for Zygarde potentially because um, I do have that Shooka Berry. Chapel Berry was tempting for the Tepu Bulu because obviously it does get superpower and uh, he is running a Z-move Tabu Bulu in this league, so he could be running all up pummeling, but uh, I think this is better. Because, again, uh, on like uh, there's no way that he can get speed into into Bulu, so like we can just go for Flash Cannon versus that thing, and if it's at a uh, sufficient amount of, of damage, then we can take it out with that Flash Cannon, uh, unless he's with Beery Berry or something. Uh, but if the Zygarde is boosted, then that's a threat. We need to be able to take one hit and then finish it off with HP Ice. So uh, that is the team. A little bit of a longer one, a little bit over 14 minutes now. Um, but hopefully you guys understood why I picked the mons that I did. Um, there's a few other mons I was considering against Serena. It's like relatively decent versus the team defensively. I just don't have kind of the offensive firepower to, to really uh, do anything back to certain mons like Bulu or uh, even like Raikou. Like Raikou can still kind of set up on Serena. And then, uh, like I mentioned, or maybe I didn't mention it, but uh, I almost had a Whirlipede on this team, but I think Whirlipede's just too easy to exploit um, if he brings a uh, setup Zygarde. So even with Endeavor and things like that, uh, I just am not willing to, to deal with that. So 
Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out the battle tomorrow. We'll be going up probably around 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, make sure you check out the channel for other game gaming and Pokemon content. And until the next time, I will see you guys later.